I yield back. <clears throat> Jim, I yield back. Ms. Stefanik, five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This conversation we're having today, it's October. We should have had this conversation a year ago. Um, my questions will focus on the vetting process and the timeline. And, but broadly, I want to start out and ask for each of your platforms, starting with Twitter, how many total accounts are bots or trolls? Not, specific, not specifically what we're referring to today regarding malign Russian influence, but just generally. How many millions of accounts are bots or trolls? So we do regular audits uh, and uh, tests for that and determine uh, that less than 5% for years have been uh, false or spam accounts. So less than 5%? Of all users, yeah. What number is that? How many millions of users is that? It's 5% of about 330 million. Okay. Facebook, how many of your accounts, how many of your Facebook pages are inauthentic Facebook pages? So we measure this question by by accounts, um, and we disclose with our uh, with our financial statements each quarter uh, our current assessment. We'll be providing um, uh, an updated assessment in uh, in a day or so when we file our 10Q. It's a small percentage um, in the neighborhood of two percent. And that would be how many million accounts or accounts? Yes. Well, we have over two billion users, so uh, it'd be significant. A lot. Uh, Mr. Walker from Google, how many inauthentic uh, accounts? I know there were two referenced uh, that were handed over to the committee, but broadly, how many inauthentic uh, accounts? The, the two that were referenced had to do with advertising accounts, so we have a continuing issue with trying to uh, detect and deter fraudulent advertising on the system. As you recognize, we're not primarily a social network, right. so our, our profile is somewhat different in this respect, uh, but it's a relatively small number. I don't have it in front of me, but we're happy to follow up. Thank you. Um, my next question is the vetting process. Um, Mr. Stretch, you've talked about uh, the ad content review process, and I'm a fairly nimble Facebook, Twitter, and, and Google user. I'm, I think I'm the first uh, person who signed up for Facebook probably on this committee uh, when I was in college. And um, I know typically when you open up a Facebook account, it's fairly easy. It's also easy to run ads. Um, is the is the automatic response to put up the ad and review it after the fact? Walk me through the specific ad content review. How many eyes are on that? Um, what responsibilities do the ad content reviewers have? The ad will be reviewed before it's run, uh, and it will, based on its content, perhaps based on its targeting, it will either go fully through automated review, uh, if the, if the content and the targeting is something that we believe our systems are adequate to address on their own. So I'll give you an example. Nudity is something that's relatively easy, it's prohibited, and it's relatively easy for our systems to identify and prevent from running. There are other um, policies that are more nuanced. So for example, the difference between um, uh, an ad that might have a, uh, a weapon um, and a, an ad that might have a, a weapon being brandished, and that's a meaningful difference in our policies, and so that one would, be, would undergo manual review. But in either case, review occurs prior to the ad running. And the decision to not allow the ad to run or to take the ad down after the fact, um, how, qu how quickly is that decision made? That's probably a different answer for each of those two groups, before it, it runs and after the fact. So our reviewers have the ability to action material when they're looking at it. Um, the, the, really the question would be if the ad is already running and it gets reported, for example, from our user community. If, if we miss something on the front end, oftentimes users will report it as violating. That drops it into a queue that then gets reviewed and again the reviewer can action the ad based on any policy violations. The ads that were turned over to this committee, this is a question for both Mr. Edgett from Twitter and for Mr. Stretch from Facebook. What was the average amount of time from when the account was opened to when the decision was made to uh, close down the account or shut down the ads? What was that average amount of time? How many months? The, ad, the, the accounts ran from... June 2015 to, to August 2017. So there was a, 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 a 
length of time for the accounts in their entirety, um, I don't have an average. We'd be happy to do that sort of analysis and come back to you. Because that's an important question. Election day is a specific date. Polls close at a specific time. We live in a breakneck media environment today. Being able to identify and shut down, down those ads quickly is incredibly important to solving this going into 2018. Thank you. Your time expired. Mr. Heck, five minutes.